Here I'm showing a large print of a home-built aircraft fuselage. I'm going to digitize the one side of the aircraft fuselage, which is quarter scale, and I'm going to cut it at half scale. I'll do that by enlarging the diagram to 200%. Before I start any digitizing, I want to make sure that the two tablets are working correctly. So I check tablet 1 and I check tablet 2 using the routines to test the tablets. If anything's not right here, I reboot the computer and start again. You use the pen here to verify the tablets. The software here is calling for us to set up a reference point on the left side of the diagram and on the far right hand side. This enables the diagram to be moved in case we had to do some changes right where that board joint is. Here I selected lines and arcs to do my trace. I just follow the diagram with the pen. Again, if you make a mistake, just cancel it and redo the drawing. From time to time I check the screen, make sure my diagram is going good, nice and steady. And if it isn't, just redo it again. The accuracy here is you following the diagram with the pen. So just be careful, follow it right on the line. When you finish digitizing, then you just select create a file and create the DXF file and save it to the hard drive. Sometimes I'll save two copies in case I want to edit one copy and keep the original. Here I've loaded in Vetric Aspire 9.0. This program will allow us to create a toolpath and make some changes to the diagram. First thing I'd like to do is increase the diagram to 200%. Now we'll set up the cut depth, the type of cutter we're going to use. I'm going to use a quarter inch carbide cutter, the number of passes it makes, and I'd like to put in some tabs so when I cut the piece out it won't go flying out by itself. Using the CNC you got to make sure your work is secure. Here we're going to finish up by creating the toolpath to make this cut. The program has a simulator. I like to run the simulator and take a look at my part. And then when I'm finished that, I'm going to save the toolpath and we're ready for a cut. I've got a 24 by 96 inch piece of quarter inch plywood secured to the CNC table using wood hold downs. This is a relatively easy cut. I'm running about 21,000 RPM. I'm using a quarter inch end mill, carbide end mill, running about uh, 60 inches per minute. Uh, mind you, this video is sped up because I don't want to waste too much time showing the, the demo of the cut. The point here is just to show how simple it is to digitize a diagram, possibly enlarge it, and cut it on the CNC machine. This is what the cut piece looks like. It's 200% uh, of the diagram that I digitized. 